Let's, let's see. We have a broken easy out inside a broken 3 8 bolt. Uh, the proper size electrode to remove a 3 8 bolt is a quarter inch diameter or 0.250 decimal, 250,000 diameter electrode. That will disintegrate the center of the bolt, get very close to the minor thread diameter within about five to ten thousandths, leaving basically the coil of the thread. Now in the case of this one where we broke the easy out, I'm going to try and do this all in one operation. You get the easy out out and the bolt out at the same time, but first of all, this portion of easy out that's sticking up here that broke that is often common when we get parts in here I have to get rid of. I either have to grind it off, break it off either way it's going to get in my way and push the electrode off one way or the other and being on center on these holes is very critical. So we're going to install this electrode. This is uh, molybdenum tubing by the way. These ports here are through to this exit on this side and this exit flange on this side. So what I have to do here is uh, tape all this up so that none of the water this machine uses for coolant flows down these ports and through here and makes a mess all over the floor. Now the first thing we have to do is get rid of the sharp corner. Good. So now you can see our easy outs fairly flush, flush enough to do the job. So. so now we have what's left of the broken bolt and the easy out, which fortunately this machine will burn through both at the same time. The machine doesn't care uh, what the material is made of as long as it conducts electricity. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll center as best we can over the top of the bolt. This hole especially is deceiving because you've got a wide, let me show you, you've got a wide countersunk area over here and a narrow one over here. So it, that makes it, you, you can't line up on the chamfer part that you see because that's not necessarily where the center of the bolt is. So let's burn it out. Because of the easy out being in there and having to approach it slowly looking for center because of the, uh, the visual problem with the easy out there, I'm going to roll a, uh, slow the heat down, which ultimately burns uh, the hole a little bit smaller, uh, which I might point out causes more time. burn. Take a look at it. See we're off center. The easy out did throw me off. We're a little bit a uh, little bit far to that side and we're a little bit too far forward. So we'll make a slight adjustment. We'll make one more burn and look at it again. This is the problem when there's an easy out broken up inside of a bowl. through the easy out. Hopefully it won't break loose from the bolt and weld itself inside the uh, electrode and create more problems. We can go up to the normal heat range that we should be at for the pull the amount of amperage that's needed for this job and we'll go ahead and bring the bolt out.
but I'm not quite through the bolt yet. There we go. Now we're through the bolt. Okay, so now you can see that we've successfully, let me bring this light over here, successfully burned a hole through the bolt and the easy out. Both are gone. We're close to the minor thread diameter. And at this point now we're ready to take some small chisels. You look for the edge of the bowl. There we go, there's an edge. You see it start to peel out. We'll come over here and knock a little bit out of that side. Make sure that it's coming out equally on each side. There's pieces of the bowl. As you can see, they come out just a thread. That's what you want to accomplish. You want to burn a hole that's close enough to the diameter that all you have left to do is to chisel out the pieces of the thread. Most of it, this is a through hole, so most of it you won't be able to see. Most of it's going to fall down inside. It is a partial through hole, okay? It's just the way that the manifold has been welded together. There's the bottom of the easy out. Oh, oh. let's take a good look at that. Look at that. So our easy out, our easy out worked properly. It went down way down inside as I expected, which uh, uh, tells me that we had chose uh, we had picked the right size easy out and the right size hole because you want as much penetration and contact with that easy out as you can get. And as you can see, if you look at it with the scale, the bolt was probably about five eighths long. And uh, that's exactly the length of our easy out. So the easy out actually went that far in, which had excellent contact. So if there was any hope of this bolt backing out, everything that we picked to do it was proper. The size hole, the size easy out. So at this point, we will, um, this is a 3 8 diameter hole. All the threads are gone. We'll get a nice, uh, nice new 3 8 tap. Put a little bit of cutting oil on it. You have to chase the threads when we're done. Always, especially a material like this. It's cast iron. The bolt had rusted in, so you've got a lot of rust inside that hole. See, it? it's pretty, pretty difficult to tap, and that's simply because there was so much rust and corrosion inside that hole the resistance and the crackling you hear is just getting rid of all that rust and material over the years that has developed inside that hole. So let me blow that out. And there's the same hole that we tried to remove the stud from with an easy out. The easy out's gone, bolt's gone, it's been uh, re-tapped, and you have a perfect thread. There are situations and circumstances where an easy out will work, which I've explained on a page that I dedicated to easy out on my website. The circumstances when an easy out will work is when a bolt breaks because it was just over torqued. It was too tight, they put too much pressure on it, and it broke as they were putting it together. Then once it breaks, the pressure's off of it. If they're very careful, 
they still have to drill a hole on center and they still have to select the right easy out. Those are the circumstances an easy out will work. No matter how the bolt breaks, the first thing a customer will think about is an easy out, by nature of its name, most likely. So the first thing that comes to mind is I'll drill a hole and I'll buy an extractor because that's what extractors are made for, to remove broken bolts. But they don't think beyond that. And the thinking beyond is the bolt is so seized when it broke and the recommended, as I've said before, easy out is half its size and twice as brittle. And if logic tells you, well, the bolt broke on the way out, whether it's an aluminum or magnesium or cast iron or steel, no matter what the material, when the bolt breaks on the way out, you should just leave it alone, find an expert that specializes in removing broken bolts, and give them a call. In this case, that's one of our jobs. Jerry's Tap Removal specializes in removing broken bolts and broken easy outs if the customer decides to try anyway.